the 200 week moving average of Bitcoin. Remember, Bitcoin peaked close to 70,000 last November, and it got down to somewhere in the $17,000 range uh, very recently. That broke the 200 week moving average. Uh, so that was a very negative sign. So the, the technicians out there was, were saying, well, if it cannot reclaim and get back up there pretty quickly, then um, then we're probably going to ten to thirteen thousand. It has reclaimed uh, the two hundred week moving average, uh, which is a little bit above, uh, I think, twenty one or twenty two thousand. Uh, so that's that's reassuring. We've seen some stabilization there, uh, and the decline this time around, believe it or not, it was pretty intense, but was not as steep as it has been in the past. Normally it's more than 80% decline. Uh, so this was close, but we didn't quite get there. So illiquid, 14 million. Uh, and by our calculations, only 3 million are truly liquid. Um, so demand, if we were to see a, a, a $1 trillion increase in, in demand, uh, then um, it would probably drive the, the price up much higher. Like than a liquid supply shock, you see a big spike recently. What does that mean? Well, that means there's a lot, a lot of buying going on and being taken away from the system. A liquid supply just means system, Bitcoin that's not on exchanges, being basically taken off and stored into cold wallets. So thanks very much.